Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Swing him over. Woo! Nice. Solid fish. That's a great way to start the morning. Look at that little fella. Whoa! Now that didn't look so long. I shouldn't have been holding it that far, but I can't believe I just didn't get hooked. That's crazy. What is going on, guys? Darcilla here, of course, and today I'm fishing with some of my subscribers. This is the subscribers that won the the uh, subscriber giveaway we did a couple months ago, and we did that celebrating our 50 million views on YouTube. And we've got Mark and Ashley Dunham here, and Ashley just caught her first peacock bass ever. Check it out. First fish of the morning, her first peacock bass ever, so we're going to try to break this record, cute little guy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and release them and then get on some more fish, but we're already having an epic day. Nailed it. Flipping them in. Watch, Watch it. it. Almost got her. Yeah, go ahead and grab them. All right, so within two minutes, Mark and Ashley <laughs> have caught their first peacock bass ever. So now we are going to try to get some more, hopefully some bigger ones, but they both caught both of those fish on artificial. So we've got also live bait with us, and um, we're drying the top water this morning. And we're gonna see what happens, but awesome so far. Very nice. First fish, first peacock bass. <laughs> live bait. Woohoo! Nice. You gotta get a little bit bigger fish. They're here. These guys are killing the fish. When I come fishing here, I don't catch as many fish. <laughs> Mark's got two. I told you I brought them Ashley's up. got one. They're very competitive, so I'm going to keep on the case about how many fish they catch, I guess. <laughs> He's keeping a tally. <laughs> so we got live bait and some top waters doing so pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now we got people rolling up on us. <laughs> I'm going to get one of that frog. Got him. <laughs> nice. That was, that, that was cool. That was cool. I was just uh, retrieving my, my live bait. And that, that uh, I can't talk, that bass just came up and literally just, it like was chasing it on the surface. He was so, that aggressive. So, little bass, my first fish of the day. But we're catching fish, nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, for a little bit, he's fight. They do, right? Yeah. Nice, uh, that's getting bigger. Working our way up on these fish getting a little bit bigger now, but he's still catching them on artificial, no, no sorry, that was a live bait, but we did catch some on artificial, which is pretty cool, and now we're just having fun with some live bait, but we are seeing fish blowing up everywhere too, so, nice. That's good. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. He exploded on that thing. Literally, the bite is on fire this morning, bass fishing. I really didn't expect that in the middle of the summer. It is muggy and hot this morning, but the fish are chewing, so that's a good thing. And as soon as the live bait hits the water, they instantly just boil and blow up on it. So I just hooked into a solid fish. He took a little bit of a run there. So we're gonna find out what it is here in a minute, but I think it's a peacock. And I also wanna let you know that at the end of this video, we're definitely going to do a tackle time. Oops, stop it, guy. We're gonna do a tackle time and go over the tackle we're using today to catch these fish. So uh, stay tuned for that if you're interested. It'll be at the end of the video. But beautiful peacock bass. These guys fight hard, and this is a little one. What are you catching on there, Mark? Uh, it's called a twitch and mullet. It's a repellent twitch and mullet. Oh, Let's see it. Cool. Little guy. Oh, no, back in. <laughs> Come back in. <laughs> Wrong way. I know, I'm not used to that. Right. What's your, nice. your Instagram? Instagram, Ashley Michelle. Ooh. The S is a five. <laughs> oh, the S, S is, is a five. five. That's very important information, Ashley. Link it down below. <laughs> <We'll>... <laughs> see that, I see that Monster Mike hook set. Oh, is that a circle hook? Yeah. Oh, okay. Blowing up over there. That was oh, oh no. no! That was a nice one. Too. It was a nice one. That was a good oh, one. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Yes. 
Nice. That was so cool. There's a lot of action out here today. I am like shocked. I'm going to try to uh, stop using so much live bait. We're going to go through all of it really quick. But solid little fish. All right, Ashley is hooked up on another fish. We're going to find out what it is here in a minute. But, um, well, like I said before, I'm fishing with subscribers. So I've got, they're big fans of my channel. And uh, they were the ones that won the giveaway. So they're super happy to be here, down here in South Florida. But they live in Florida as well. Where do you guys look based out of? We are in Tampa. They are in Tampa. <laughs> and uh, they said that they also catch a lot of different fish. Like, she got a nice peacock. Oh, nice. But they catch, they do a lot of inshore fishing over there, and they catch big redfish, big snook year-round, and what else? Trout and... Trout and tarpon, kingfish. Yeah, and her and her husband go fishing quite a bit. So it's pretty cool. Do you guys do a lot of tournaments as well? We've done a couple, but couple. we don't... Yeah. One, yeah. Uh, one thing was best angler in 2015. Yeah. In 2015. That's cool. Oh, wow, this guy... This guy is, is like tearing up my thumb right now. I was trying to get the hook out for him. There we go. Cool. But all these fish are solid. You can see their bellies are real full. It's a nice fish. Let me give her her fish. Sweet. So pretty. that's pretty cool for them at first, catching these peacock bass down here in South Florida. And they were just saying how much they fight. They fight twice, like, twice as hard as peacock. I mean, getting you confused. But they fight twice as hard as a largemouth bass, even those little guys. But they're fun to catch. and. Uh, it's pretty cool that they're down here visiting and came all the way from Tampa to fish with us. Yeah. That was a nice one. Was it? It feels heavier. Are you guys going to let me catch all the fish today? Okay. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> nice. Oh, right into here. Nice job. Yeah. Whoa, what a stud. That is nice. Look at this fish! Slaw peacock bass. We're gonna, I don't think I have anything to weigh him with, but he's a solid at least three, four pounds. That's a great fish. He fought real hard, right? Yeah, he was awesome. She's pretty shocked about the way that pe these peacocks fight, like I've been saying. They are just one fun fish to catch. Plus, they're so beautiful. So crazy. He's on. Nice. She is killing it over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Another slob. Ashley is straight up slaying the peacock. She is like peacock queen today. Jeez. Slayer. Another stud. Look at his fin here. I just noticed that. It looks like it healed from some type of bite. Pretty cool. Beautiful fish. So we're gonna get some pictures real quick of this beautiful fish for her. That's definitely one of her personal bests. I think that one before was her personal best, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not a day of fishing if you don't go home bloody. All right. How tore up are you? Oh, right there. Let me see. Look at her hand. <laughs> She's not worse. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is not as bad as hers. Nice. Tore up. It's doing work. <laughs> War wounds, exactly. <laughs> hey, fella. Peacock today. Little guy. You gonna kick it? Nice, nice one. Swoop. Getting wet. There you go. Nice. nice fish. Gen in general, it's harder to catch fish. You gotta go in the morning to get them. Tackle time. So I am setting up a rig right now, and this rig is, you know, your standard live bait shiner rig for bass fishing. Um, but I'm also making this rig specifically to target the clown knife fish, which I talk about every single time I'm bass fishing in my videos. But I still have yet to get one, but hopefully today might be the lucky day. So I don't want to jinx it. But right now I am snelling this hook, and it's very hard to see, unfortunately, because I'm... I am tackling it down all the way to number to six pound fluorocarbon. So this is teeny tiny fluorocarbon and uh, it's definitely going to work for bass but I like to snell these hooks and I'm using a circle hook so let me just snell that and tighten it up. There we go. So now this hook is nice and snelled. I love to use snell knots especially on the circle hooks because it just ensures that that fish is definitely going to get hooked up and he's going to get hooked in the corner of the mouth. So this is a size one old, um, fine wire mustad circle hook and like I said it's a size one so it's very teeny tiny 
minuscule, the actual shiners can swim with them, or a shad if you catch shad in the lake. And then I've got the six pound fluorocarbon. I would say it's about two and a half feet long. And then I've got that tied to directly to, um, actually, I still have a fluorocarbon leader here, but I've got it tied to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then this is tied to the main line, which is our braid that we've got on this reel. And this is the fin ore reel that I use quite a bit. And it's a lot of my videos, it's fairly inexpensive. I know it's a saltwater reel, but it's going to work for bass today. And then, of course, once again, I'm using always my Tsunami Coastal Series Airwave Rod, seven foot two. Um, and I love this rod. So I'll link all this information down in the description below and Ashley Ash Slay is oh. now hooked up on a fish oh she just lost it oh man all right so I'm gonna get this in the water and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of sinkers here like a probably a foot up I'm gonna find my sinkers or somewhere and then um, once I do that I'm gonna cast it out and I'm gonna keep the bail open I'm gonna let this bait sit on the bottom and for the clown knife fish they eat fish. I just saw one roll. But they eat bait on the bottom. So we're going to see do that and then um, hopefully we'll get one. Who put you, who put you on your first peacock bass ever? That would be Dar Sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> she nailed it. <laughs> Check it out, Mark's peacock bass. And this looks like actually looks like a female, or actually a male, but the hump is completely gone. The humps um, fill up and then they uh, recede too. So nice fish for Mark. All right, we're releasing these fishies. They're ready to go. I've got a large mouth and I've got a peacock. There goes the large mouth and there goes the peacock. Nice. So they were very active, but I just got trying to take pictures of these fish. They just got me good with their dorsal fin. And I'll show you my fingers in a minute, but let, when the, once they dry, but I have serious bass thumb today, and so does Ashley's. And you know what that means? We slayed the fish today. <laughs> Kristen. I gotta get these pretty girls helping me with my boat. Down she goes. Yeah. All right, come on up. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> oh no! We had an epic day of bass fishing today, but if you noticed that last clip when we were pulling the boat out of the ramp, Ashley disappeared out of the frame, and she actually fell on her bum on the boat ramp there. And she said she's okay, so that's that's all good. We're we're she's okay. We're good to go. But yeah, if you were wondering what happened there, she took a hard fall. So we had an epic day of bass fishing. Got on like two to three dozen bass. She caught the most and the biggest bass, so that was awesome. And we got our fingers tore up, so that always tells you you had a good day bending rods. But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, we'll do another subscriber giveaway in the future. It was really awesome fishing with such awesome subscribers of mine, and I know all of you guys are awesome as well. So make sure you like the video, subscribe, and until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.